팬텀 페인 엔딩이 나그 최초로 나왔던 MSX용 메탈 기어 원이랑 이어지는데 메탈 기어 원에서 최종 보스가 빅 보스인데 걔가 죽고 나서 메탈 기어 2에서 또빅 보스가 어 최종 보스로 나오거든. 그거에 대한 설명이야. 그러니까 메탈 기어 원에서 죽은 빅 보스는 그 그거죠. 저 베놈 스네이크고 2에서 죽은 게 진짜 빅 보스고. 근데 2에서도 또 살아남아 가지고 아무튼 뭐 있어. 아, 복잡해. 이게 연표를 보면 대충 이해하실 수 있을 거예요. 네. 저 스네이크 이터 작전이 메탈 기어 솔리드 쓰리고. 자, 이 무서운 아들 계획으로 인해 가지고 리퀴드랑 솔리드 스네이크가 어, 나 태어나고. 어. 그리고 74년도에 피스 워커가 이러 그 사, 그거 메탈 기어 솔리드 피스 워커가 74년도고. 75년도에 그라운드 제로에서 죽고 그러니까 그 공격받아가지고 개박살나고 그래가지고 84년도에 빅보스가 아니 빅보스랑 그 베놈 스네이크가 태어, 어, 다시 깨어나고 아무튼 가, 그 카케무샤란 거죠, 소위 말하는. 어. 진짜 빅보스는 따로 있고. 그리고 제가 진짜 그거고. 원래 메딕이라고 해가지고 그라운드 제로에서 위생병으로 나왔던 앤데 걔가 얼굴 바꾸고 저렇게 빅보스 행세를 한 거야. 세계를 판 남자. 얼굴 성형 수술하고 예. 제가 이 아바타가 맨 처음 게임했을 때 어. 시작했을 때 정했던 아바타인데 제 어. 제가 메디 수술했던 그니까 저때 빅보스랑 메딕이랑 둘다 그.. 어.. 폭발에 휘말렸는데 메딕이 앞에서 막아줘가지고 빅보스가 생각보다 많이 다치진 않았어 근데 둘다 코마 상태에 빠져가지고 9년이 흐른거죠 아마 빅보스가 좀더 뭐.. 일찍 깨어나 있었긴 했을거야 어. 그래가지고 이게 이 엔딩이 원래 메탈 기어 솔리드 전에 나왔던 메탈 기어 원으로 이어지는데 옛날 정말 옛날 게임이에요 메탈 기어 원. 페미컴 80년대 나온 게임인데 80년대 후반에 나온 게임. 말 그대로 대신 살아준 거죠 빅 보스를 지키기 위해서. 
근데 이거 이 결말도 좀 말이 많긴 해요 네. 설정이 좀 틀렸거든 이 결말 때문에 메탈기 워낙 저 우리 왼쪽에 있는 게 MXX야 어. 그 메탈기 원이 나왔던 옛날 옛날 그 기종 컴퓨터 게임기 같은 말 그대로 그런 소리죠. 넘겨. What was it all for? If the boss has some plan, what is it? The real big boss is working separately from us to create his new nation. 그래가지고 메탈기어 2에서 빅보스가 나오죠. 메탈기어 원에서 죽었는데 빅보스가 원래. The true. 나우터의 힘. Something created. 그걸 설명하기 위해서 이런 엔딩이 된 건데. Independent of the struggles for supremacy, for personal profit, the cycles of revenge between countries. 이게 그 오셀로사고 밀러가 나누는 뒷얘기예요. Big boss is building a nation, but until it's complete, we support the other big boss. The Phantom carries on his legend, his meme. That. Is Big Boss's plan? So that's the way it is. Nine years ago, I thought everything had been taken from me, but now I really have lost it all. The boss and the future we were building together. One day, the age of Big Boss's sons will arrive. They'll likely want to settle the score with him. We have to shape that age. We'll each have roles to play. Building the foundation for a revolution led by both big bosses, the true one and the phantom. No. Big boss can go to hell. I'll make the phantom and his son stronger to send him there. For that, I'll keep playing my role. <laughs> you know, sooner or later, there will be only one boss. There's only room. For one boss, his sons are fated to face each other some day too. If the day ever comes that you go back to Cipher, I'll lay the other son, and then you and I will be enemies too. One of us will have to kill the other. Fine by me. I'll be ready for the new age. Until then. We better get used to coexisting. <웃음> 자, 베들레헴의 별. 자, 진실의 기록. How are you back on your feet so quickly? Hmm. There's a non-smoking ward. Boss. If I listened to everything the doctors said, I'd probably die in here. No point waking up after nine years for that. Well, having you out of that bed makes things a little easier. Bad news, huh? Hmm. Things are looking worse. Go on. They found out about you waking up. And the man on fire picked this time to wake up, too. We'll have to move forward ahead of schedule. Miller already has the preparations underway. We'll have to wake up your neighbor, too. So he's not... He seems awake now. No. Well, he's not actively conscious yet, at least. He was a doctor, too. In his mind, that past no longer exists. Your past is his past now. He's going to be your phantom. Not some simple diversion. He'll act as the new big boss. And the act just isn't for Cypher. 
He'll be your face on the world stage, until the time comes for your resurgence. You make it sound easy. We've been busy over the last nine years. His altered state of consciousness has helped us implant powerful suggestions through induced hypnagogia. He's experienced all your missions on record and shares all your knowledge and experience. To make him believe that he is the one true big boss. No one around him will doubt that he's the big boss they know. So, is he the real big boss or a stand-in? What does that mean to him? Nothing. The human brain is capable of many illusions. Of pain, of the future. What happens from here depends on his skill. You can vouch for that. He was always the best man we had. But... Nine years ago in that helicopter, he threw himself between you and the blast. In that moment, the man you knew died. He died protecting you. And now, by becoming you, he protects you again. This is just a detour in his journey to hell. And don't forget, it's what he wanted. He's in his dog days now. Hmm. It's not just him. We'll be putting the people in this hospital in the line of fire. They'll be your shield and necessary diversion to buy us some time. And you? I'll be right by his side. Can you keep it up? It's a hell of a lie. It won't be a lie. I won't know his secret either. <laughs> I'll believe that he's the real big boss. I'll have no conscious knowledge of you. Where's the lie in that? Self-hypnosis. It's nothing new in my line of work. Manipulating memories. The past. But that's not all. When the time is right, I need to remember that you're the real boss. In a world, it's double think. In this year, two plus two equals five. And I want you to do the same. Right. His bodyguard? Correct. It won't be long before this hospital comes under attack. We'll wake him up right away, but he won't be back to full health in time. You'll need to take him through his final paces. Yeah. I want to see his face again. All right. John. I've never forgotten you in these nine years. But I have to forget you now. Adam. I'm counting on you. What's up? About the 1972 project. Les Enfants Terribles. <laughs> you never did like the French. <laughs> all that Catherine the Great aristocratic pompousness gets to me, that's all. Palace talk. They can keep it. Les Enfants Terribles. The terrible children. That madness Zero started. Or the start of his madness. You found out something new? The plan itself was abandoned in 76. ATGC dismantled the project, and their account with DARPA was closed. So I was worried about what happened to you. Your sons. They're no sons of mine. And they're sure as hell not me. Just a bunch of cells grown in a lab? What they are is much sicker than that. Well, Zero doesn't think so. Eva doesn't either. To them, those boys are your clones. They're you, down to the last hair. And? The first boys were raised free range, like we thought. Both of them. David has never left the States, but the other, Eli, has disappeared. Might as well call it abandoned. They're through with him. Where is he? He was in England, Zero's home ground. Apparently, he traveled to Africa after that, but that's where he escaped from Zero's care. Just like that? Why? Who knows? Maybe he found out about his birth. If he's alive, he'd be 11 or 12 by now. Old enough to think and act for himself. So he might still be alive? On his own? There? I wouldn't bet on it. John, if he is alive, what's the plan? I have nothing to say to him. Treat him like a human being, just another person. Boss, this war business you and Miller started. Since the industry spread out to the PFs, it may have a favorable influence on Cypher. To a ruler, an everlasting enemy is convenient. By directing the public's animosity outside his borders, he can unify their frame of mind. Guns for hire continue the war. Then enrich the economy with their spoils. War as a business will become a permanent tool for manipulating the public mind. A new business model. You might even call it a war economy. Before long, Cypher, or rather the Patriots, will be drawn to this. Probably only a few decades before it takes hold. It's not far off at all. Still no leads on Zero. We don't even know whether he's still alive. 
With the protocol he put in motion is making steady progress. Every day, SIGINT's web covers a little bit more of the globe. Total information control. Big Brother Zero. And it'll happen before anyone even realizes. I don't like it. You're the big brother of the battlefield. You've earned a firm grip on the world's military power. But soon, Zero will have nations in his. He'll erase the Cold War. All war from people's minds. And with it, the world's borders. Zero's will, his influence, will be unleashed with nothing to stem the tide. When that happens, opposition will no longer match the lines on the map. And boss, with no borders left, what difference can we make? War will have lost any true meaning to the world. Just one more gear keeping the wheels of economy turning. Another product bearing down the capitalist conveyor belt. The future your friend Miller wanted. That's all there is in store. Perhaps it's already too late. But human will should only be handed down and nurtured by human hands. It can't be entrusted to the system. Especially not that soulless phantom that Zero's left in his wake. No matter what happens, we'll have to fight someday to reclaim our truth. Until next time, Big Boss. Someone has successfully struck at Zero. Since Zero's using a private network, we get information, but we have no way to trace his location. That means the details are still fuzzy at this point, but apparently some new bioweapon was used. As soon as he noticed the dip in his vital signs, he had his stomach pumped and even underwent blood dialysis. But he didn't fully recover. Ironically, if Zero kept more company, he'd have been safe. Since the incident, his speech and actions have been getting more unhinged by the day. He's probably been rushed to another safe house for intensive care. But the location is a complete mystery. That's the way he operates. He went to incredible lengths to make sure his great escape went unnoticed. So far, I know at least Langley and the Pentagon were involved. He had a blackout triggered in New York to disrupt the transportation and information grids, and at least two submarines were sighted off the coast. The personnel involved were working off a cover story. Naturally, the White House was fed the same thing. The project is buried under a pile of dummy ops and backup plans stretching across multiple organizations. It's safe to say not one of the people involved knew what they were moving or to where. All top secret. No trail, no leads. He's living up to his name, as usual. Only this time, even I can't find him. Now, the only record of his location lies within the cipher AI that was at the heart of the escape plan. And that's closed off, with its data sealed away in a secret location. Skullface was able to put together this assassination attempt, but even he can't possibly know where Zero is now. I'll keep searching, but when you're up against he who controls information, it's gonna be a long battle. Boss, it was Anderson after all. That's right, the man who went by SIGINT during Operation Snake Eater. Following Zero's disappearance, he's taken over command of Cypher. Well, to be precise, the AI he oversees has. The idea to have an AI act for Zero came about in 74, when the data from the mammal pod penetrated NORAD. Clearly, an AI couldn't be allowed to make its own decisions. So they would take away its ability to act, and instead, create a specialized system in which the AI, bound by specific rules, filters the massive amounts of data it collects before passing it on to people, subtly guiding their decision-making. A system of the people, by the people, for the people. So they began researching how to do it. DARPA apparently brought Strangelove on board to head it up. She was forced out after a certain incident. The direction of the project and any trace of her existence was scrubbed after her departure. Before Zero lost consciousness as his condition worsened, he left instructions for Anderson. Through a cutout, of course. Zero went out of his way to hide your location in order to keep you safe. This meant sacrificing his own protection. It was the only way to ensure you could stand alone as your own man. And here I am. The only link between you and the world that's passing you by. I'm your last connection now. This was Zero's last request, his will. 
Once you're awake, we need to discuss the best way to ensure your safety. Oh, and they've got a name for Anderson's AI project. It's called The Patriots. It's all about ensuring that the concepts driving society appears the same in the mind of each person in that society. About maintaining the identity of the individual, and yet having that individual willingly make up part of the whole. I guess it's fitting to call that patriotism. Creating a united world. Zero's will is already fading into a shadow of what it once was. Systems, guidelines, rules, laws. When you take a mentality and fix it in a solid shape, put it out there in the hands of people, it can only begin to decay. No mentality can last forever. When the body dies, the will dies with it. Thank you for coming. Please. You're... Hmm. Is it that odd? I suppose the cuffs have gotten a bit loose. Although, truth be told, I have been spending more time in pajamas as of late. No. Nothing. The tie, perhaps. Not the most fashionable pattern, I admit. No, it is very nice. How sweet. Will you take a little brandy? Uh... You're hardly under age, after all. No, thank you. Hmm. Please, sit. <laughs> hmm. Pacifica Ocean. What? Ah, yes. You've already begun. Hmm. Not bad. A schoolgirl through and through. Even he won't suspect otherwise. Here you are. Thank you. I heard you are sick? Poppycock. I just like to take a little time off work. You? You must feel that way sometimes. <laughs> anyway, I could hardly greet my first guest from that damned bed. I, uh, missed my chance to catch you snoring. <laughs> now I'm twice as glad I got ready in time. Drink, before it gets cold. English breakfast tea. All I have, I'm afraid. Hmm. There were eight candidates before you. Meaning you will be the ninth Paz Ortega Andrade. What happened to the others? They're in the next room. They've been taking it easy these past few months. They... Do you see any windows here? No. I've gotten used to it, this life. I am who I am, after all. And I've had my fill of cursing this bloody dungeon. Excuse me. But I can't help sometimes. Wishing I could see the stars. What should I do? Well, you... You could go outside, go up to the roof, wait for the clouds to pass. 
You would have a view of Manhattan. And a pretty one, too. But once the wind blows, and the clouds pass, you can look up and see a sky full of stars. Even here. You've had a hard time getting to where you are. Yeah, yes Sewer rats lead better lives. I know. Extreme training. Starvation. Days spent without sleep. Abandoned, hurt, and all but killed in every way imaginable. Some of your compatriots died. Others betrayed you, left you for dead. And you did the same to them. But through it all, you survived. And you alone made it here. Just look at you. I can see everything you've been through. Yes. Consider this mission a reward for the mountain you've climbed. Thank you. Yes, well, you know what's next. Yes. And you are prepared? Yes. I believe you. That ever so slight tan. Not the type you'd get on the west coast. If I didn't know better, I'd say you really did grow up around the equator. But it runs deeper than that. One look at you, and I see a wide-eyed student yearning for peace. Born and raised in Central America. I can see it all. How much preparation have you done? A little. You'll be perfect for this, to strike back at Snake. I'll share everything I know about him. <gasps> but you mustn't forget who you're dealing with. If he were to get the better of you, well, I deeply regret having put you in that position. But beyond that, I'm putting my life in your hands. You can trust me, Cypher. Hm. None of my friends call me that. Tea's gone cold. Shall I make some more? I know we are the only ones here. Hmm? There is no one in the other room. And how do you know that? You said I was your first guest. Oh, I haven't had this much fun in quite a while. All right, then. Cypher has been in hiding ever since his grand experiment. No one's seen him in years. All we hear are orders delivered by proxy. Except you. You met with him, face to face, in order to contact Big Boss. Tell me where he is. Where is Cypher? Where is Zero? I've never known choice. Where I was born, the language I speak, I've never had the freedom to choose for myself. But you, right now, are free. Do as you will. This will save Big Boss. It may. Will you really kill Zero for me? Not for you. All right. Zero is... Hell's Kitchen, 10th Avenue. He is undergoing treatment there. Hmm, not exactly Hyde Park. His medical needs keep him from moving around. That is why he summoned me there. The other residents are of varying race. And the ages, but in reality, all 40 units are 